There are more than 2,500 men and women across this province volunteering with BC Search and Rescue, performing more than 1,300 rescues every year. So what does it take to become a SAR volunteer? Here's B. Cooper. The BC Search and Rescue Association acts as a liaison between emergency response teams, the RCMP and local police. In any given year, SAR groups across this province respond day and night to more than a thousand incidents involving more than 1,300 missing or injured people. Together, these men and women donate more than 100,000 hours of their own time. Everybody probably has their own motives. Mine, I just wanted to have uh, some uh, volunteer effort in the community that would have meaning to me because I've spent my entire adult life on the waterfront. A professional shipwright by trade, Ed Walker has volunteered with Oak Bay Search and Rescue for 15 years. I'm not on crew anymore because of my age. But Walker plays a key administrative role, registering volunteers and assigning crews. We have a large turnover in, in all in both genders. It's uh, one of the things about it. People find out that it's not as nice out there sometimes as it looks on a sunny day. Crews try to anticipate and therefore prepare for every emergency, including capsizing of the rescue craft. Oak Bay Search and Rescue is practicing self-writing maneuvers in the warm waters of the rec center pool. It's pretty easy to get in a jam on the water. I mean, conditions can change quickly. And currents around here are so strong that people make poor decisions or, you know, uh, ill-advised. Dave Erickson keeps his boat at Oak Bay Marina and approached the SAR team about volunteering. And I've thought for a while that it would be a good thing to get involved with. I, I've never had to rely on it, but uh, it's nice to know it's there in case you do get in, in a jam. Members of Oak Bay Police and Fire Departments are also at this practice. We work very closely with the Oak Bay Fire and Oak Bay Police, and uh, we have to make sure that they know, they know what we're doing if they're ever on our boat, and we have to know how they communicate as well. Vital practice in communication, preparation, and anticipation for whatever call comes in. Some of them are very mundane and some of them are very exciting. You just don't know what's coming. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.